You know, there's something seriously wrong when you get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go launch a rocket. But the goal today is to launch and recover the rocket twice in one day. Hey, for you guys who didn't get to catch it on TV, here's the launch that I did for G4. Check it out. This is a single-stage rocket, and it's got about 300 pounds of thrust, which is a lot for just some sugar. It runs an electronic ignition system, which basically means I connect these leads to the engine down here, and then we've got a remote control device so we can be at a safe distance when we light it. We are ready to launch. Gentlemen, three, two, one. Wait, wait, wait. Up there. Okay. All right, all right, let's, let's go, go let's go, go chase it. it. I see it, dude. You see it? Woo! Awesome, man. Wow, Cowboy. it's really hot. It smells like buttered popcorn. Thanks to our F and Science reimagining of rocket fuel, with using just sugar, we were able to launch two rockets far into the sky. Now it's time to blast the crapper up there. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love that it just flipped. It was like a roller coaster. Well, it didn't make it into orbit, but it went pretty high. Certainly did. I'm gonna give the aperture detector another try today. This one, I only put two steel balls in it instead of three. Uh, one steel ball has a tendency to bounce off the switch, opening the parachute too early. Um, three steel balls worked well because it had a dampening effect on that, so it wouldn't bounce as much. Um, but it also had the tendency to break the switch. That happened one time. So in order to try to prevent that, I'm going to try it with two. All right, so here it is, the first launch of the day. I'm going to light it up, see what happens. Okay, anytime. <laughs> okay, so I don't think we'll be flying that again. All right, so it looks like the upper body section and the lower body section separated again. All right, so here's the parachute and the upper body section. And it looks like it just fractured here for some reason. Here's the other piece. Don't know what happened, and it might be kind of difficult to tell. All right, so it was a beautiful day for flying, but obviously something went wrong that caused the upper body section and the lower body section to separate once the parachute came out. The parachute came out 10 seconds after launch. Normally it's 17, so the parachute came out way, way too early. brought down a uh, remote control plane with a wireless camera on it and we were going to try to get some uh, footage of the launch but it was one of those days where it was a beautiful day for flying but everything else kind of went wrong there was a wiring problem there was a, uh, a servo problem there's a battery problem uh, you know you name it it's just one of those days <laughs> 